Actor and Six Tones rapper Yuri Tanaka discusses ambition, fate, and concentrating on the music in ACMA game. Today, we present an exclusive interview with Yuri Tanaka in honor of his 29th birthday. In it, he talks about his current drama and how he would like to prove himself than to boast about having huge dreams. Yuri Tanaka, the rapper, vocalist, and dancer for the rock-pop group Six Tones, pronounced Stones, is just as subtly aspirational as his ACMA game, Prime, persona. With a strong resolve to improve, Shotaro Mamiya, Cinderella's of Midsummer, Pending Train, and Koton Furukawa, Yu Yu Hakusho, Pending Train, two experienced performers, acted alongside Tanaka in this season's fantasy drama. He talks to us exclusively about his love of manga, how he learned to act on a green screen, and his unwavering commitment to getting better every time. Your character in ACMA game is modestly driven. What qualities do you share with UI Saito? We both have the quality of being quietly ambitious people. Actually, it's all of us, not just me. People who've just watched us perform live or on YouTube might not know that we're actually kind of laid back. We want to demonstrate our lofty goals and aspirations with quiet, purposeful deeds and tangible outcomes rather than just talking about them. Mamiya Shotaro and Furukawa Koton, your co-stars in ACMA's game, have appeared in numerous dramas and motion pictures. Did any of them give you any helpful acting advice? My biggest takeaway from ACMA's game was how to perform with computer-generated imagery. We had to fumble through several scenarios, relying on our imagination. Before adding special effects, Mamiya-san and Furukawa-san both assisted me in developing a feeling of creative spontaneity to bring the story to life. In a drama or movie, I usually just follow the director's instructions because I trust them. Here, though, I had to rely on my feelings and instincts. Which kinds of roles or genres are you interested in pursuing? Apart from UI Saito and ACMA's game, I have portrayed intelligent, rational, and poised characters before. Playing a role that lets me exhibit a more humorous or naughty demeanor would be fun to liven it up. It would let out some of the energy that the performer in me had been holding inside. Have you read any manga before, such as ACMA game? Which manga or anime is your favorite? Which one would you most wish to appear in eventually? Not too many days had passed since I finished reading ACMA game when I got the offer. That was the most important thing on my mind at the time, so I almost tripped over myself to say yes. I adore manga. A significant portion of my monthly budget goes toward purchasing new issues of my old faves and checking out some new ones that catch my interest. It's hard for me to choose just one book that I would want to see adapted, much less one that I would want to be in. Since I still don't have a lot of acting experience in comparison, I want to do everything in order to gain a wide viewpoint. In this manner, I can later on be more specific about what I, and my admirers, would find enjoyable. Gong, which the group released for ACMA game, is described as a crazy journey over Tokyo. What does it personally mean to you? Gong, an ACMA game insert song, is obviously meant to heighten the drama, but it also embodies Six Tone S's violent, rebellious vibe. The song video shows an abandoned warehouse that uses the power of music to change into a live performance space. We want to convey to everyone who hears it the musicality that we as a group hold in such high regard, and this is reflected in the photos. Please check out the song and music video. I think they do a great job capturing this. Could you give us any background on Six Tones for fans in other countries who might not be familiar with the group? Together, what are you attempting to create? All six of us enjoy staying occupied. Our favorite thing to do is perform as a group, but we also act in plays, model for magazines, and have a good time on variety and chat shows. I would say that's our main directive. We work really hard to create songs that are memorable and to make great music. We can leave tomorrow up to fate since we are six tones. Instead, we aim to use our efforts to make fans happy and excited. 
We just want to do something every day, no matter how large or small, in the hopes that it would inspire others to perform at their highest level the next day or deal with the stress of the grind. Six Tones is renowned for, in a sense, creating its own destiny because, instead of being assigned, it decided to form a group. What impact has that start had on your creative process? We all have aggressive goals as a group, which is very different from my quietly ambitious acting character. We worked closely with our staff and were extremely straightforward from the start, eager to explore new ideas. In particular with regard to music. We're constantly considering ways to improve a track or elevate a live performance, even if it's just a little bit. We want to be proud of the job we do and make sure our fans are proud to support us when we release new songs or go on tour. How can we ever hope to confidently stand in front of an audience and ask them to support us if we don't take it seriously and give it our all attention and consideration? Above all, I believe this to be a component of the mentality we have fostered since our creation, if not before. What part do you play in the group? How do all of you work together? I like to think that I play a variety of responsibilities within the team. I'm in control of the rap portions musically. We usually get to talk to the fans during live performances, so I make an effort to keep everyone on topic to avoid upsetting our managers. In the background, I also take on the role of producer for our concepts, fostering relationships between the team and the group. Since we're all multi-talented idea guys, I make an effort to strike a balance so that everyone has a chance to speak up and be heard. I believe I play a pretty essential part in the group. Without me, I don't think we could function or, at the very least, we couldn't stay focused long enough to go on to the next assignment, lol. Maybe this is overstating things. Naturally, though, it's not just me. Without each of us, six tones would not be six tones. I believe that every one of us has a unique set of surprising and significant roles that are not always evident from the outside. What has been your most fulfilling and memorable experience since Six Tones launched in 2020? Although I don't think it's feasible to condense our experiences into a single recollection, one thing that instantly springs to mind is the yearly live tours we have conducted constantly. Above all, our concerts are where we invest the most of our energy and have the greatest sense of accomplishment. It would have to be the rap series on its own. I wrote songs for 34 local radio stations based on my performance, describing their unique qualities. The core songs remained the same, but I altered the flow and lyrics to accommodate the tight tempo. 34 Occasions I remember not getting much sleep at that time because it was difficult to create so many versions, but it was well worth it. After all, it was our first year, and it was a fantastic opportunity for me to advance my abilities so openly from the start. It was a chance to establish a reputation for having a certain skill set so that people would say, Yuri is the only choice when it comes to rap sections. What's the story behind your solo song, Sorry? I intended Sorry to tell a meaningful story using repeated lyrics that, depending on where in the song they appear, had multiple meanings. When I collaborate with others on music, we usually workshop the entire piece while exploring different topics and threads. But because I understood what I wanted to say, we finished this one in a little over 30 minutes. I'm thrilled with the outcome and the good response I've received. Which location in the globe would you most like to perform with Six Tones at? That is an extremely challenging question. In order to meet new people and spread the word about Six Tones, I would adore performing at numerous events all around the world. However, I also want to play here for the supporters who have stood by us since our early years. It is my hope that we can keep growing to the extent where we are able to do both. But if I had to choose a dream location, I suppose Sphere in Las Vegas would be it. I had watched video of the U2 show, and we discussed how amazing it would be to play a live show there. However, we constantly bug our staff to look into potential concert locations by saying things like, wouldn't it be fun to do a show at such and such a place? To put it briefly, we would adore performing in front of a wide range of audiences in a variety of settings across the globe. Thus, let's hope. 
Please click to read Yuri Tanaka's interview story and leave your birthday wishes for him in the comments section below. Visit Six Tone S's social media pages at YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and X to follow them. View the music video for the drama song Gong by Six Tones and learn more about ACMA's game. Watch ACMA's game, the live-action manga drama, on Prime.